Hey, this is Chris Muglino. I am at the LD Micro Conference in Los Angeles. I am here with Jason Matashreski. Not even close, but not even close. Not even close, but you know, but uh, but he's um, from Biostem Technologies, and under this ticker symbol B S E M B S E M, and you guys are training on early on the OTC, but okay. we filed a Form Ten to uplist to the Nasdaq. Good for you. Yeah, thanks. So, tell us a little bit about the company, what you guys are doing. Sure. So, uh, Biostem is focused on harnessing the natural properties of placental tissue or advanced wound care. So we're treating diabetic foot ulcers, pressure ulcers, and venous leg ulcers. What's a foot ulcer? You can get an ulcer in your foot? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, typically, these are chronic wounds that are found uh, with Medicare beneficiary patients, so folks that are 65 and older. Um, and they're a chronic wound that ultimately uh, comes either on the bottom of their foot or uh, venous leg ulcer, typically found on like kind of the hip down. Um, and these wounds are wounds that won't close with the use of standard of care. So our products come in and support uh, the patient's body to overcome those wounds. And how does it work? Is it like a surgical uh, device that goes that has to be inserted, or it's a uh, it, our product is uh, basically harvest a layer of tissue off of the placenta, and then we process it via our bioretain. It's a proprietary process, and ultimately it's uh, shelf stable and it's a dehydrated product. The product is shipped uh, to the physician, and the physician places it on the uh, recipient uh, upon cleaning up the wound bed. So they'll clean up the wound bed, and then ultimately put the product on the patient. Interesting, almost yeah. like an insert of a yeah, sort. A little bit, yeah. Well, and then it starts to, and then it just everything grows in and around it. Yeah. So the the natural properties of placental tissue, um, it has a lot of growth factors or natural elements that ultimately support wound healing. And those elements elude into that wing bed and help support your body to uh, recover from a wound. And where do you get the placenta tissue of that? Yeah. How, how does that work? We, uh, we work with a group of collection agencies throughout the United States. Uh, they recover uh, tissue for us. Uh, it has to be a successful cesarean section. And it has to be planned. Uh, mom has to be okay. Baby has to be okay. Uh, we work with those groups to c collect that tissue and we recover it within 24 hours of that planned cesarean section, and then ultimately process it within 48 hours. And if you, once you get that, how much more tissue can you grow on top of that? Um, we actually don't grow any tissue okay, on you don't top of no, no. So Whatever we recover is what we actually ultimately process our through our bioretained method, and then ultimately cut into various forms, uh, ranging from eight millimeter discs all the way up to a 10 by 20 uh, uh, centimeter rectangle. So does the hospital sell that to you? How does that work? No, you can't. Uh, they can't uh, buy body parts. Parts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, that might be a little question. And that's just in different countries. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we pay for the recovery uh, techs to be in the operating room to recover that tissue. So Interesting. Uh, yeah. And so the groups that we work with, it's kind of a, uh, a circle of life situation, right? Because we have a, a successful birth, a beautiful baby is born, ultimately recovering this tissue, which ultimately would be uh, medical waste, typically, uh, and then actually uh, processing it through our bioretain process and applying it to a Medicare beneficiary who typically is 65 and older. So you have this, you know, new life, be able to harvest this tissue, then leverage it into a uh, older patient population. So this is a you know, sensitive subject, right? It's a very political subject. Yeah. Uh, you know, it leads to kind of the idea that stem cells and and different things can help regenerate. Uh, for people later on in life, um, so it you know you guys you're finding yourself in a in a place where uh, you're dealing with a, a lot of um, issues that are at the forefront of uh, medical thinking. I think yeah you know? yeah I think um, you know obviously we don't specifically uh, there's no stem cells per se in our product. Um, it's just the natural properties of the tissue itself. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely on the kind of a cusp of, of, you know, looking at new medical technology or products. Yeah. Like maybe it's phase one of that conversation becoming much more acceptable. Yeah. More mainstream. Yeah. So where are you guys in the process now? What uh, you have the product developed and deployed, uh, it's being in, it's being used a lot. What, what's the status? Yeah. So, um, you know, we started the commercialization process late last year, um, uh, the current uh, landscape for Medicare uh, reimbursement is through seven MAC regions. 
and late last year we had access to three of the seven and then january 1st we had access to all seven um we've been a pretty good uh uh, uh logarithmic growth rate in the sense of revenue generation about 41 million in q1 of this year about 74 to half million in q2 of this year so we're on a really good traje trajectory this year uh, of our products uh really driven by our that's 71 uh 74 and a half in q2 in in revenue yes okay yeah in revenue um uh roughly about six million in net income so and how income. many surgeries is that then or how many people like how what does it cost for each one um it varies based on size so it's reimbursed through what's called an asp or average sales price in the post acute setting and so it varies based on size of the graph we offer graphs from uh two square centimeters all the way up to 10 square centimeters the pricing is is per square centimeter so it kind of varies across that portfolio guy but a lot of a lot of yeah so yeah, we, we, yeah we've uh provided a lot of product to patients our key market right now is the post-acute space so mobile wound care um podiatry um long-term care facilities skilled nursing facilities uh, excuse me we're really been focusing on more of the post-acute space and then we're working towards getting onto contract vehicles to then target uh the acute space interesting interesting business yeah. and uh what what happens next? What's the evolution for you guys? And yeah, I, I like to use the story. You know, we we have products uh, that service kind of the product of last resort, meaning the patient has to go through standard of care. Uh, they don't respond to standard of care, which is typically thirty days, and then ultimately they can use our advanced skin substitute product, our placenta tissue allograft. What we're looking to do is expand our product portfolio across what's called the continuum of care, meaning patient presents day one, there's a product that that provider could put on a patient. Um, instead of us being kind of the last book on the end of the bookshelf, we want to add more books to our Right, while well, you probably save them the 30 days. Yeah, 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 hopefully. Right. Or, or look at other products that kind of diversify our revenue uh, and, and mitigate some risk around single product revenue. So where can uh, people learn more about this? Well, yeah, so we have a IR uh, website, biostemtechnologies.com, uh, investor relations tab uh, as well. We're, we're working on doing more uh, non-deal roadshow activities throughout the rest of this year and into next year. Um, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, talking to more folks like yourself. Yeah, no, that's the name of the game. You got to get it out there. I mean, yep. you got to tell the story. There's so many unique stories to tell, especially, you know, in the, in the biopharma kind of space so many unique uh, strategies. It sounds like you're onto one that's generating a lot of revenue yeah. and you're not in clinical trials. And uh, is the business profitable? Yeah, it is profitable. Uh, to, to address your clinical trials, we are actively running a few uh, random controlled trials. Uh, really, the focus for those trials is actually uh, expanding coverage uh, pro profile for our products, meaning getting into uh, commercial payer coverage, United, Anthem, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Uh, because uh, all of our concentration of payers are that Medicare beneficiary, uh, Medicare group, right? Um, so we want to get into more commercial payer coverage as well. So right now we are running a trial. It's 60 patients, um, one for diabetic foot ulcers, and then uh, one we're looking to launch later this year on venous leg ulcers or VLUs. Uh, it's a random site, uh, 10 sites. Uh, we're currently enrolling patients in those trials as well. Um, but it, it's not around uh, for the for the product to get to commercialization phase. It's more about expanding our payer coverage. Okay, fantastic. Well, if you, you know, people want to check it out, it sounds like a very interesting business. Yeah. And uh, I think that, in, so if you're doing 74 million in the, you said in the- Q2. Q2. Yeah. So for the year, I mean, are you trending for a $300 million plus year? Um, I think that would be a little bit on the aggressive side. Okay. <laughs> uh, probably high twos for sure. Okay, so fantastic. Yeah, I mean, and I guess it's not really seasonal in nature. You know, people need yeah. surgeries all the time. Right. Yeah, maybe in the fourth well. quarter it falls off a little bit because people aren't. You know, there's not as many people getting surgery in yeah. in around Christmas and the holidays. Yeah, I, I, sadly, uh, these types of chronic wounds on Medicare beneficiaries are are prevalent no matter what time of the year it is. It's, right? Uh, they don't uh, get to choose. Yeah, they don't get to choose. Um, you know, your your grandparents or your parents. Um, or your aunt or your uncle, you know, they bump into something, all of a sudden, boom, they have a wound. Their body can't overcome it. It becomes a chronic, say, wound. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's Christmas time or whatever holiday you uh, are, are attending, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't choose, sadly. So, but uh, 
we're excited. You know, we're continuing to kind of really ramp up our revenue um, and excited to share our story. Well, thanks for joining us here today. I appreciate it. Uh, put it on your screen. Uh, Biostem Technologies, Inc. Jason, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.